Hey, this is MJ, call sign KW3KW, and welcome to another episode of Ham Radio Made Simple. I've been uh, starting a new uh, short series called Ham Radio with remote access, and especially I'm trying to do the HF digital apps such as JSA Call. And I did episode 36, which I'll show you, I'll do a review here in just a second, but this is an extension of it, and then I'll finish up with 37 and 38. But today I'm going to talk about remote on and off of your PC. How can you do it uh, from either a Wi-Fi or through the internet? And how can you turn the power supply onto your rig uh, remotely? Again, Wi-Fi or internet, and also a third-party device such as my antenna box. So hopefully you're finding these videos of value. Please hit the like and the subscribe button so others can stumble across this station a little easier. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to take out the human intervention in turning on the key power uh, supply and uh, to my equipment in my shack. I want to be able to do it independently of myself or anyone else to have to go up there, turn it on and turn it off at any time. And so I have a dedicated remote PC, which allows, uh, which I'm now doing remote access only through that PC. And so I, this is my screen that I use. And now I can actually, uh, up in my shack, now I can use the exact same thing, all the functions. Click on anything, go into window settings, do, uh, do my sound settings, like I'm sitting at my PC, but I'm at a different PC, which is really nice. And so what I did is I have my IC7300 connected to the Samlux power supply. And by turning the power supply on and off uh, with the IC7300 in the on mode, it uh, automatically boots up my rig. I also have a third-party hardware for antenna switching, and this kind of closed the loop. So it, now I no longer have to go outside and switch antennas or go upstairs and hit the box and switch antennas. This can be all done uh, through a GUI interface on the, my remote access setup here. So quickly on the, the series, I did, if you haven't seen it, uh, part one was remote access to software how to be able to access my computer from a, a different location. So that was part one. This is part B, where I actually show you how to turn on the power on and off remotely without uh, having a, 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 a myself or a third person go in there, turn on and off the equipment, which really is nice. I'll get into rig control in the next video, which is hopefully in about the next week. And I'll show you when I'm doing JSA call, how I can look at the uh, I can uh, test the ALC, I can look at the ALC meter, I can uh, uh, tune a different band. Um, I, I, there's so many features on this I can do now. I don't have to be sitting there trying to control it. And I'll, I'll show you several options and why I chose a particular one. And the final one is showing you how I close the loop and now I can use multiple antennas, switch it without having to be on site. So if you want to see my shack, this is the remote dedicated PC. It's kind of big, but uh, it was free. My son gave it to me. He built a bigger and better one for himself. Here is a power supply rig uh, with my ICOM 7300. Here's my antenna switch box, and you can see, maybe not too well, but at the arrow here, there's a button that goes on and off. I just now leave it in the on button and use the app on my phone to turn that on. It's really nice. And uh, I have a, a UPC for a two-hour backup as well as uh, surge protection, uh, something that if you haven't thought about that, that's something that you really want to do. So if I get power interruptions, it doesn't impact what I'm doing. Uh, it, it, it keeps everything up and running. So this is a, a secondary PC somewhere else in my house, which happens to be my, my wife's office. And I'm just like I'm up on the third floor and I never even have to go up there. So um, I have a dedicated PC, which I have the switch bot button for Wi-Fi. And this is what it looks like. It basically has adhesive that sticks on onto the uh, uh, PC. And this little button goes back and forth. And I'll show you that in about two slides. I have a demo doing that. $40 for Wi-Fi only. And I chose Wi-Fi versus doing internet. I really was going to do internet, but my son pointed out that uh, if you want to get hacked, the easiest way is through devices like this. The, the number one way people are getting into your home systems is through if you have a smart refrigerator or even a smart washing machine, 
that you want to be able to control, uh, you know, those type of devices through the Internet, they really are never built with any kind of security in mind. And so that's that's it. I call it the point of failure uh, is when you have the Internet option. So, again, if you feel like you don't care about that and you're not as paranoid as I am about it, then, it, yes, it can be done. And all control through your phone, and it's called the SwitchBot um, Hub Mini. It's $40 on there, and this will allow you to do Internet access, just not Wi-Fi access. So turning on my PC on and off from my phone, how does it kind of look and how do you do it? Well, you download the app by simply using your, your phone that you're going to want your app on with the uh, QR code reader. Uh, and you just put that on. It's on the box itself. It's pretty simple. And it automatically will download uh, the either from the App Store or the Google Play, depending on, uh, you know, an Apple phone or a, a Android phone. And this is what it looks like. It's basically essentially glued, not glued, it's, it's as an adhesive that uh, sticks onto your PC and the button will go up and down. But here's what will come on here. Here's the SwitchBot app right here. And uh, this is really simple. I open that up and it basically allows me to turn it on and off. And I'll show you that here in, in the next slide. So this is what my actual device looks like at an angle. And you can see this is sitting here and it can push down. Now, there's this actually can go in uh, three different positions. So it's basically I had to turn it on twice to get it into the position to be used this way. This thing is used for even turning on uh, uh, switches in on your uh, walls in your home. So it gives you more options of what direction the button can go. But that's the way I set it up. So what I do is I turn it on and off uh, for about two seconds, and you'll see it in the demo. It'll go down, hold it for a, few, a second to get the PC started, let's go, and the PC starts up and running on it. And again, all through my phone on this. So this is the, the on and off button, really, which it looks like. I, like. I click that on. Here is the on. Here is the off. I turn it on, and I turn it off. You can't just leave it on, otherwise it will hold, the, the button will keep holding the PC down. Eventually it'll turn it off. So just FYI on that one. So let's kind of look at a demo here. So here is the uh, hitting the on button. And I'll count a couple seconds. And then I'll go ahead and just turn it off. And this time I, the PC. So let's see what it looks like. You can see it went down. It's holding it. And I let go. I hit the off button. And it comes back up, and the PC is running. Simple as that. Now you see how it works. When we look at uh, the switch itself, this is where I'm trying to turn the power supply on and off to my uh, rig and to my antenna box. And this is what it looks like, and you can see the size of it here. This is the button. When you're pairing it, you kind of hold it for a couple seconds until it blinks, and then you pair it with the phone so it knows. This is number four, for example, uh, that's in here. So I have four, three, uh, you know, two and one. So this is just, for example, one is the one I use for my um, uh, rig control. Two is the one I use for my box. These are offline right now, but this is just trying to show you. And what I did is I marked it so I could always identify which plug was uh, what number on here. Now, you can spend more time and try to, you know, label these and put uh, all the information in. Uh, to me, simple was best. I just know one, two, three, four, what I'm using them for. And again, uh, power on right in here, and I'll show you that in a video. It's, it's really simple to do this. So again, hold three seconds for pairing. So for the internet uh, option, uh, I would tell you that there is another company that makes it out there, and again, um, it's a, again, it's a, it's about twenty dollars on uh, Amazon right now, and that's their control button, very similar to it. But this is the uh, KMC Smart Plug, and I'll have links below in the description to show you. So this one, um, I actually have as a backup when I want to use the internet, but I really want to uh, try to just focus on the on the Wi-Fi area alone. But it is available and possible to do uh, internet access, which means you could be like in the Caribbean and to be turning your rig on and off. 
So let me break it down on how I set up my smart, smart plug here and uh, to go through my uh, phone. And I, it's all about attaching the power supply in. So in my setup, I'm taking the Samlix, I'm plugging that into the power supply, and now I have control over the rig on. So I'm leaving the power supply in the on position here, and now I turn this on and off here. But at the same time, I can turn the power on my rig leave that on which is connected right in here and what that essentially does is i can turn now my rig on via the fact that this power supply is going on and off from uh the the smart plug so this is in the on position this stays in the on position this is the on and off now that's your new on and off here and it works really well and i also have my uh antennas remote switching box that's in the on position and these come in a, a pack of four and so I took another one. So this this is number one here, and this is number two. And so now when I'm using my phone right in here, I know if I turn on one, this goes on. If I turn on two, this goes on, or I turn it off. So let's take a quick look on a demo here. And I just basically to hitting the, the app button. I'm picking the right plug that I want, which will probably be uh, plug four here uh, for the demo. And uh, here's the shows you I, I can turn it on there. The power's on, and I can turn it off right in here too. So on and off. And this is what it looks like when it's off. It's, it's grayed out. When it's on, it's in the blue position. And you can manually also hit that button on and off. So so pretty simple. So this is MJ KW3KW with Ham Radio Made Simple, giving you a short video on how to remotely turn on power supplies in your shack. Uh, thank you for watching this video, for hitting the like and the subscribe button. Until the next video, out.